to me. But I only have this flower. I feel like I didn't really earn this. Are you sure? I'm really flattered. I'll pick it for you then. No, it's okay. Everything ends. It has a purpose now. Thank you. I didn't know why I was making it before, so I'm glad I could make it for you. It's worth working hard on something if it means something to someone else. If it makes someone happy. You'll be okay now. Thank you for letting me feel like I have a friend. It was nice. Oh, Belladora? She can't hurt you if you're with me. I'm supposed to keep secrets. She can't find you if you're my secret. None of my sisters can. So you can leave safely now. I'll always keep you as my secret, I promise. You're the best secret I've ever had. Because you gave me reason to keep trying things. I'm gonna grow more flowers in the dark. Maybe I'll find one that likes the dark as much as I do. Hmm? Why do I like the dark? Because most secrets are things we're scared to share. You're my first good secret. But I'm scared of how I look and how I am. So, it's better this way. You probably want to leave because of the way I am, don't you? Wait, you... You like how I look? Really? That's the nicest thing I've ever been told. Not even Mother would say such a thing. What makes you think this way about me? You're very kind. Thank you. I wasn't sure if there was something wrong with me. I guess there doesn't have to be something wrong with being unusual. I don't know why my sisters dislike me so much. I'm not sure. We all have a job to do in these woods. But, well, maybe, maybe it's because of my relationship with death. Well, most of them have something to do with life. Will either that be creating it, keeping it, or preserving it. But I keep secrets. And death is a secret. Something you don't want people to know so it won't hurt them. And most don't want to think about it. It's hard watching things disappear every day. To be forgotten. Just like me. And nobody knows what happens after you're gone. But I do. Oh, I couldn't tell you. You either won't like the answer or you'll like it too much. It's a secret. You're a little unusual, you know? In the best of ways, I'd say. You're kind and curious. You've been patient to talk with me. And unafraid. And came all this way to find a new home. Oh, but your home is not so good anymore. What will you do? I'd invite you to stay. I'd like you to be around. But it's not quite right for humans, is it? To disappear from the world? Aren't you scared of being lonely? Of course I'll be here, but I'm hardly a person. Surely there are others that can keep you company. Oh, I'm sorry. I should be more hospitable. I'm not trying to turn you away. Of course you can stay with me as long as you like. But you're free to go as you please, okay? Come then. Sit. You've been walking for a long time. You have lots of time to rest now. It's a beautiful night. Can you tell me things about yourself? You know quite a bit about me, but I don't really know you.
very wonderful. Well, yeah, even the not so good things that happen in one's life. Because they all put the pieces together to make you. And I like how you are. I find you very lovely to talk with and be around. Every person is a constellation of experiences. Every time you heal from something that was difficult or challenging, you get a star bringing new light into your character. You're made beautifully. It's my favorite thing about humans. You know, this is my first real chance to experience someone like you and be able to learn from you, but also share my thoughts. I'm usually very lonely. I don't know why. I have no reason to be. I've never had a loving experience to compare it to. Yet I feel it. Maybe loneliness is another one of the world's secrets. What do you do when you're lonely? I suppose there's only ways to distract yourself from loneliness. Not a cure, then. But if you did have somebody, you would do things like talk and go places and hold each other and perceive each other, thinking about them when they're not around, right? <sighs> Why is it so hard? Would it be alright if I could hold you a little, just to try it? I just hope it doesn't feel like you're being poked by many sticks and bushes. enough? It's cold tonight. You probably couldn't tell, though. Most don't notice. It's beautiful down here, though, isn't it? There's a few secrets around here I can show you. There's a well, but it's been closed off. And an old shed. Not sure when it got here. It's covered in moss. And there's a stone staircase leading into the earth. To a great pavilion. It feels... ancient. A few strange places like that. How are you feeling, though? Are you still curious about death? Hmm. It seems so distant and strange. Almost not real, doesn't it? I'll tell you one thing about death. You can't tell the difference. You wouldn't even notice if you were gone. Come on. Why don't I show you the pavilion and the earth? I'd love to see how someone new experiences these woods. Follow me. <laughs> 